What's going on everybody? This is the video that I had uh, promised you that I was going to do. This is the uh, when I came home Jewish story. So this is a tea time talk. So go ahead and get your tea ready. Get, get ready to sip on it. Y'all might y'all might laugh because some of the shit is comical. Some of it is sad. I know certain members of my family may not be happy that I'm telling this story, but I mean, it's real shit. So. So. The way that this story plays itself out, <clears throat> this happened um, December 2006. No, no, because 16 is that December, <laughs> December 2012. So I fit. I actually converted to Judaism uh, the very next month. I converted in January. So <clears throat> yeah. So. Um, but before I had been practicing uh, various aspects of Judaism, even in my uh, late teen years, um, and the, and the main two was uh, my diet, uh, eating kosher like or kosher style, however you want to uh, define it, and also keeping the uh, Jewish Sabbath. <clears throat> Those were like the two big things. And my mother really didn't, uh, the whole Sabbath thing, and she really didn't care about the whole eating thing. It was just, okay, well, my son is eating something different. So she would just go and buy um, separate groceries for me, which was cool, which was cool. Um, and fuck it, since we're talking, I'll go for a quick tangent. I would get so fucking pissed with my fucking brothers, okay? It was my relatives, but it was mostly my fucking brothers <clears throat> because I... I didn't eat what the fuck they eat. Um, like I said, of course I wasn't eating pork. I wasn't eating, um, you know, the shellfish, the catfish, the bottom toilets. Like, I wasn't eating any of that. Like, there was a lot that I wasn't eating. So what my mother would do is um, she would mostly buy me ground turkey, uh, turkey ham, and chicken, which I was fine with. And, every, and like I said, I would pair that everything else I would make. So in knowing this, <clears throat> and my brothers fucking knew this, and like I said, you know, they also saw some weight coming off me at that time too. Um, and I'll tell you why I said that in a moment. <clears throat> I remember one fucking day I had did a uh, big ass bowl of uh, taco meat. And I'm just like, all right, I'm going to sit here. I'm going I'm to smash and shit. So I'm coming, <clears throat> coming home from school. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to sit here. I'm about to nuke these bitches. My shit gone. Actually, not gone. The majority, like, like I had leftovers enough to eat on. I came back to where I was only able to make, like, barely two fucking tacos. I was like, and I literally went the fuck off on my brother. And he was just like, well, I'm just like, bro, you know, I'm not eating fucking beef right now. Because at the time, I was pretty much trying to eat very, very lean. So I cut out uh, beef as well. It was just... <clears throat> poultry and fish that I was eating at that time even though I could still eat beef I just I was choosing not to I was so fucking pissed because I'm, I'm looking at him like you can have regular fucking tacos but you come and eat my shit like I was so fucking pissed but nobody kind of really put two and two together on what it was that I was doing it's just like okay he's eating something different and the funny thing is I started this trend my oldest brother <clears throat> eats the same exact way like, I eat beef and everything now, but <clears throat> my brother adopted pretty much what I brought to the table. And it, you know what, and I'm going I'm to talk more about that too in this damn story. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, uh, early fall of 2012, I, 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 I called my mom and I'm like, and you know, because I was tossing around the idea. I'm like, okay. <clears throat> either I can come home and I can wear the yarmulke and I can deal with whatever initial shock that I'm going to get or <clears throat> I could just not wear it and then after the conversion and after I think that it's a good time to come around my family let them see it <clears throat> and it was one of those where I had to kind of look at myself like uh, you ain't no punk bitch so just go ahead and get the shit over with it is what the fuck it is and it's like I've dealt with scrutiny from my family from many different you know avenues aspect angles and all those other shits I'm like fuck it why not do it right so I called my mother before <clears throat> I came home just like I just want to let you know that you know I'm in the process of converting over to Judaism blah 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 yeah 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 she was cool about it. <clears throat> now I had to talk to myself yet again. Okay. And it was one of why I'm like, you know what? You know how my Dukes is. Okay. She's saying okay now. <laughs> but when you find, when you get home 
That is when all this shit go come full circle. How all this shit go come full circle. So <clears throat> I'm like, all right. So I'm like, fuck it. I'ma just do it. I'm just gonna do it. So um, <clears throat> I came home in uniform, which I don't like traveling in uniform. I know some people do it because they want benefits and try to get bunk first class and shit. <clears throat> but I did it because I wanted my father to see me in a uh, uniform because he has never seen me like he's seen pictures but he's never physically seen me in uh, my duty uniform so uh, I wore it for the sake of the story he never showed up for the two weeks that I was home so wait hold on wait 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 let me retract but let me retract that statement he did show up, but he wasn't there when he was supposed to on the day that I arrived because he was supposed to have been there So I could have you know been received by both of my parents, but it didn't happen I said I don't want to get on camera and lie on him. Okay, we have an awkward relationship but I don't want to lie on my father not on camera. That's it's not not cool. Um, so I uh, touched down and um, I'm greeted by my brother my middle brother and uh, he picks me up and it, the, Oh some real shit. He is staring at my head uh, so the whole entire time, you know, he hit me with, with, with this shit. Ain't saying shit, <laughs> but he's hit me with that. And <clears throat> because he and I, we grew up with each other is one of those where in his mind, you know what? Well, fuck it. It's real. He's just going to do what the fuck he does. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Cause I was really expecting him to say something, but he actually didn't. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just let it go. So I get home. Uh, and my mother's in the kitchen and the way that the kitchen is set up is like say you have the door <clears throat> and then you know just straight to right if you keep walking straight there's the door going onto the back porch now in between that is the table and she's sitting at the table like this and watching the TV so I walk in I'm like hey ma and then she turns me like hey Rahada, what the fuck is that shit on your literally what the fuck in I'm just like yep I'm home that's my mother you know, and because uh, it was like I was expect, but here's the thing: she did she, I love her, but she didn't know how to leave well enough to fuck alone. Like she kept going in on it, <clears throat> and my mother's whole thing is when it comes to me, uh, I'm not gonna say she thinks that I do things for attention, but I think that my mother look at me just like a lot of the shit that I have done. It was a uh, all um, like a fade, a phase or a fad or whatever everything that I do and it's and I think my mom gets mad because she feels like I go out of my way to be different which there have been instances that I did do that I'll probably say that for another fucking video um <clears throat> but I'm just like okay I'm gonna let her have this I'm like she'll get over this eventually hopefully sooner than later <laughs> then my oldest brother comes in and like clockwork hit me with the same shit Be like real hey well what the fuck is that shit on you i'm just like and i'm kind of looking at him like you two you, you, you're on the same shit too like why can't y'all be like the middle one why can't y'all be like my middle brother okay be like him and just be cool about the shit nah they couldn't be cool about the shit i'm just like y'all just gonna work my last motherfucking nerve but that's okay so I'm like, all right, whatever. Again, this, this like I said, it'll, it'll, it'll pass over. And I'm thinking like, okay, this shit is going below the fuck over. Not as fast as I wanted to. <clears throat> so weirdly enough, my brother, uh, my oldest brother, had decided that um, <clears throat> the family were going to do family pictures. I don't know if he planned it around me coming home or not. I think it was just something that he wanted to do. So it was him, his wife, and his children. And my mom. My uh, middle brother couldn't make it because he had to work, so it was just us. So I'm just like, <clears throat> my mom's like, do you want to take pictures? I'm like, yeah, why not? Because we, because honestly, we hadn't taken uh, family pictures in years. I think I was probably between 13 and maybe 16 the last time we took family pictures. Long ass time ago. So I'm just like, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So <clears throat> funny thing is I'm wearing all black and I'm actually wearing this yarmulke right here. And um, I'm like, okay, I know my mother feels some kind of way. <clears throat> I know that it's awkward for her. So instead of me wearing a bright colored one, because trust me, I have a plethora of yarmulkes, okay? I don't come on here stunning for the camera, but it, when I sit here and I, I'm putting on the fit, my ass from Chicago, okay? My hat, or because it is a hat, so my hat go match my shirt, go match my shoes, okay? 
<clears throat> it might match my jacket and my pants and shit. If I'm feeling froggy, it might match my drawers. But, um, you know, that's just what it is, how I am. Like I said, I'm not matching right now because, you know, I'm just chilling right now. So, but um, <clears throat> I'm like, okay, I'll wear all black in general, but I'll wear a black yarmulke wear unless you walk up on me and because like I said, I had a fresh cut too, so you can actually see it. <clears throat> but unless you walk up on me, you won't be able to tell that it's there. That way I can still have it on. <clears throat> I can still be proud and not make her feel awkward. Own oh, some real shit. My mom hit me with, and she hit me with this before. We left. She was like, <clears throat> you know you're not wearing that in the pictures. You're going to take that shit off. And I'm looking at her like, really? Really? <clears throat> and... I was very tempted to just say, you know what, fuck it. I'm not finna do these family pictures, but it's one of those things where mm, I don't do this with both my parents. I really don't. I'm going to be completely fucking honest and transparent. Um, mm, my mother is the only one that I give a pass to, and it's not because she's my mother, but it's because um, mm, given everything that has happened in my life and even in dealing with both of my parents, my mother has been the one to tr truly deal with my bullshit and my fuck shit. <clears throat> so she gets a pass on a lot of shit <laughs> and at the same exact time I do want kids and it's just that respect and that reverence that I'm supposed to give to my mother and, and like I said I mean I give it to my father too like I said I mean granted my mom gets more over than my father does but like I said I don't disrespect either one of them and I know she wanted the pictures to be done and we haven't done them in a while so <clears throat> It was one of those where, okay, I will suck this up. I will make this compromise for my mother. And hopefully, you know, and me, you know, doing this with her when I have children, I don't necessarily want my children to have to sit here <clears throat> and compromise for me because I don't want that. But hopefully, you know, my children will respect me in such a way that I respect my mother. So hopefully, you know, <clears throat> trying to <clears throat> trying to make nice. <laughs> so... I don't have, cause my mom and all, my mother has already hit me with the curse. Like, I hope your kids be, I hope your kids are just like you. Pretty much the throwing in my side that you were to me, I hope they are like that to you. So, mm, trying to like, you know, smooth that shit over. <laughs> so, I'm like, you know what? I'll be nice. I will take it off for the pictures. I didn't take it off in the trap. And she wanted me to take it off. Nope. Now for the pictures, I played by her rules, and it, it was it was rough. It was it was crazy. Like I and it was one of those things where I really didn't know how to take it, but it was I'm like all right, whatever. Um, so actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna spill too too much of my family tea because I don't want to buy it. I really don't want to buy it. Think that my mother's a horrible person because she's not. My mother is an outstanding woman, and <clears throat> if y'all think my ass is a handful. It, imagine that I'm Miller Light and my mother is ever clear. Okay, like I am my mother's child. I am my mother. Okay, <clears throat> the I get my height from my father and facially I'm starting to favor my father more. I actually favor my mother when I was growing up. I'm starting to favor my father more in the face. Outside of that, everything else, everything else, I get from my dudes. Okay. <laughs> especially personality like and <clears throat> on a quick tangent I couldn't understand why my mother and I did not get along because we have clashing you know like we clash a lot and it's because we both have eight type personalities we're both fucking stubborn <clears throat> we are stubborn we want things done our way and even we can only coincide under the same roof for a week Two weeks max, but by the se by halfway through the second week, we about ready to kill each other. Because we got on each other's fucking nerves already. Because we have the same exact personality. It's just how it is. So, you know, just throwing it out there. I forgot exactly where the fuck I was going with that. Eh, that's what I call it a tangent. So, we get done doing, and like I said, I, it's, more, it's, it's, it's another piece of the story. It doesn't really contribute but like I said I'm not gonna talk about it. And I probably shouldn't say that because I know y'all probably like, talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. So, um, but <clears throat> you know, my mom, she definitely felt some kind of way. She wanted me to go to church with her, and I declined. And <clears throat> you know, and I'll explain further in the story because it actually comes up further in this story. I declined. I was just like, you know, I'm not gonna do this, and <clears throat> just didn't go. So, um. 
and how did yeah I'm trying to remember how this worked. Okay, so I was in the car with my mom. We went and picked up my aunt Patricia, and we went and we went from picking her up to driving out to my aunt Jeanette's house. And um, <clears throat> you know we're all hanging out. Actually, backtrack just a little bit. So this day I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to just be motherfucking black, Jewish, and proud even though I hadn't fully converted. I wore a white and blue yarmulke on that ass. And oh, some real shit, I'm a little spiteful motherfucker. I'm a little petty because my whole thing is this. <clears throat> I'm going to play by my own rules. I'm going to do what the fuck it is that I want to do. <clears throat> and people just got to fucking accept it. So, yeah, I wore, like, because at first I was trying to be conservative around my mother and let it ease in, you know, like, like let her warm up to it. But the fact that you hit me with the whole I can't wear this shit in pictures, bad. I'm finna wear one that's colored on your ass. And I did. And we went to a pawn shop, me, her, and my Aunt Patricia before we went out to my Aunt Jeanette's house. Um, and we're just, and my mom was like, and it's wintertime, of course, in Chicago. So she's like, real, put your head on. My skull cap. Well, Ash, damn it. A yarmulke is a skull cap. A wintry skull cap. I was like, no. And I seldomly, and I truly mean seldomly, ever tell my mother no in that form. But no. I'm I'm not finna hide this. I'm 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 not. <clears throat> and the reason that is a big deal is, and hopefully if my mother ever sees this video, she doesn't get mad about what I'm about to say. But my parents are in their 60s. Okay, I just turned 29 last week <clears throat> and my parents are in their 60s so this gives you an idea of you know when my parents grew up and uh, my mother her mentality is you know especially being a black male is certain things <clears throat> it's like there's a certain look there's a certain appeal that you must have like i get on videos and i act and like i said you know i show y'all the different spectrums of who i am but at the center of it all, <clears throat> I'm very eloquent. I know how to conduct myself. I know how to talk. I know how to act by virtues of my mother. But also she feels that, you know, as black men, we should not have hair. We should have a fade. You know, <clears throat> it's certain ways that <clears throat> for her, a black man should look. A black man should act. Like I said, I dyed my hair, you know, in my teen years. I'll probably talk about that in a different video if you want me to. Um, but I dyed my hair. She was against that shit, too, because she's like, no, you don't do that. And I think the main thing is, you know, being a black man in America, <clears throat> you know, it's already strikes against you. And you don't want to bring more attention to yourself than is already on you. And I understand. So for me to wear the yarmulke, especially wearing one that is not black, is bringing more attention to me. Hence, bring more attention to her. And again, thinking about thinking about the time in which she grew up, you don't want to bring that type of attention to yourself. And I totally understand. But I'm one of those where, fuck it, I'm a rebel. I'm militant. I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she was she was in her feelings because I I would not uh, cover it up. And it's just one of those because my and I'm kind of looking at her like, are you ashamed to be around me? Are you ashamed to be with me? Like that was my whole thing. Is like I'm feeling some kind of way. And one thing that I don't know if y'all know about me, I might have said this in the video, I cut people off quick, fast, in a fucking hurry. I don't care what your associates, your association to me is. I cut people off. Most of my family, both sides, I didn't cut the fuck off. I don't say shit to most of the ass on some real shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, when I come home, there's only a handful of people I will go out of my way to see. And that's only because they have returned a favor to me. I don't fuck with a lot of my family. I'm going to just be honest. And my family, and I might talk about this in the video again. I know I'm pissing people off at this point. Whatever, I'm already talking. But <clears throat> we have, it's just um, this dynamic of uh, no matter what, we're still family, which we are. But a lot of shit gets swept under the rug. A lot of shit does not get addressed. You know, the whole fucking night. And I don't like shit like that. And a lot was done to me growing up. A lot was done to me by various fucking people. <clears throat> only a handful of them, like everybody got the forgiveness, but only a handful of them has been extended a second opportunity and a second chance. Y'all real? Okay, retract that statement. Everybody has been afforded that second chance, but only one person truly took advantage of it. So the fucking lights flashing and the barriers low. So let me go ahead and finish this damn story. So, <clears throat> but I cut people off. <clears throat> this is like, I'm real shit. I cut people off. Um, so, we all went to uh, Brown's uh, <laughs> Chicken, you know, to get that liver. 
and my aunt Jeanette, uh, like I said, you know, she's the whole, like, I would consider her the holiest one out of all of, you know, the elders. Like I said, they're all on the script, but it's like her, y'all get what I'm saying. So she um, made a joke about the yarmulke and she saw that I wasn't laughing. She, and she was like, oh shit, he fucking serious. This is a real fucking thing. <clears throat> and we began to talk about it. And on some real shit, this is one of the few times my mother has ever been quiet. Because a lot of the times that I start discussing shit that does not mesh with her, she can only control two people in the situation, herself and me. So it'd be real, shut the fuck up. And you know, out of obedience, I will, I respect her wishes. I won't talk about it. Or I'll be like, if y'all want me to talk about it, we gotta get away from her. So um, that happened and you know, we started talking about it and I pretty much expressed my feelings where it's like, this is where I'm at. And you know, just like, <clears throat> This is where I'm at in my life. I'm not doing this because it's something to do. It's because this is the path that I've chosen based off what I'm going through in my life. Judaism works for me. And and I think my mother also thought about, you know, back when I re-enlisted because she was against me joining the military. And eventually she came around because I, I think my mother does realize with this son right here, I will cut anybody the fuck off because I'm not going to hold on to anyone like, I'm not going to hold on to <clears throat> having you as this title if it's going to cause me more pain. If letting you go means that I have happiness, I will let your ass go. On some real shit, okay? And I, I mean this. Like, me and my father, the whole time I was in Korea, I didn't call his ass. I didn't talk to his ass. I recently called him in the last two months. <clears throat> and that was me. That lets you know, like, that's the shit that I be on. Like, shut up. So... And I think and I think my mother really just took that time to really just kind of get to understand me and why I felt the way that I felt. And my aunt Jeanette was even like, uh, so are you, have you gone to church with your mother? No. She was like, does it have anything to do with what's on your head? I'm like, no, it has everything to do with what's on my head. And I think this was the, the <clears throat> defining moment with me and my dukes. But I'm just like, I'm tired of being somebody's trophy. I'm tired of trying to, you know, fit into, you know, what other people want me to be. Because I don't like fitting into social and societal norms, as y'all can see. And <clears throat> I'm just like, had I gone to church with my mother, I would take off the yarmulke because I don't want to bring that attention to me. If I go to church with her, it's not about me. It's about Jesus. I want everybody <clears throat> to focus on Jesus. Don't focus on me. I would do that. But I don't like having to sit here and change myself for another person. And I will not do that. And my mother finally understood it. And it was after that. That we were good because when I came back home that summer before I left for Korea, I think my mom had to sit down with everybody <clears throat> and let they ass know you not because my here's the thing my mom is <clears throat> she mother bad she gonna let your ass know you not, you not finna fuck with my cub because my mom will get your ass together right quick and shit I came home and ain't nobody really said shit about it people have had their questions but whatever shit they had to say they said the shit away from me because they also know that I'm like my mother I will let your ass have it quick fast in a hurry like <clears throat> I'm reserved with a lot of my reads on camera but when it comes to my family I will mm -mm, mm -mm. so that so I'm, I'm go ahead and wrap this up because that shit's flash has make me nervous so that is my story when I came home Jewish I hope you guys enjoyed it me being along with everything so please rate comment subscribe and share let me know how you guys feel about this video and everything that i have said hopefully i've given you a little bit of entertainment and you know on some real shit please do not go in on my mama in the comments because i between me and lady nika we probably gonna get some motherfuckers together so if you got anything negative to say about my mom i would just uh recommend that you just don't say shit about her and i'll see you guys on the next video peace